5.4% air. That's always got to say, that's really difficult. You really got to try to contaminate your system with that much air mixed in with the refrigerant. You got to either try to do that or be really inept. But I continuously get this and we got a little YF mixed in there too, it looks like. 98% 1, 3, 4, just a little YF. But that's what happens when a vehicle goes to one of those shops who don't have a refrigerant identifier. Um, yeah, that's all. A simple accident. It got munched right here. It's actually as bad as it looks. It's holding refrigerant and it's not leaking. And um, in and out, change a few parts. I'll be back here in a few days. Simple recovery. Oh yeah, time to do the recovery. And so take off the refrigerant identifier don't need that no more and put on the recovery unit and it is ready to go so right now it's under micron level all the way up to this gauge all the way up to this point until I screw it down then once I screw it down it'll start recovering boom It's warm today. It's 60 degrees, 61 degrees. So it actually warmed up here. And we'll watch that level drop. Have one of my nice shop that does a lot of restorations. So here's the old restore. complete down to the body send the body out have the whole entire body and bed and everything sandblasted down and put her all back together looks like they stitched in a new panel inside here so the old one must have rusted out old Corvette getting restored Looks like we have a vintage air unit on this one. So we got the nice chromed compressor, chrome pipes, then to your standard homemade, not homemade, but shop made uh, rubbers. And I got the chrome uh, receiver dryer. Parallel flow condenser. I wonder which one this one's going into, a nice old engine. A flathead. And what do we got here? And this was uh, one of the ex-mechanics cars. Beautiful restoration. What year is your Plymouth? 40, oh, 48. 1948. Super beautiful paint job and bodywork on this. Of course, it's a body shop technician. Even the detail under the fender well. 